day three in on our Wales adventure. It's been pretty action packed, we managed to squeeze in lots of activities, lots of places to visit. So if you've missed any of the activities, day one was very action packed. Day two, we chilled it out a little bit and made you learn how to be, how to be a tour guide. Yeah. We'll do the holiday, holiday hold on vibe. You've got to film me, grab me in my hand. Oh, that's it. We're real little for each other. The shot. <laughs> It, yeah, the mic's on now. Just turn it off now. Day two in really sunny Wales. Today we're at the Carnarvon Castle, which is a really, really beautiful castle in Carnarvon. It was built in 1238, which is the Middle Ages. Um, we're going to have a look at all the beautiful parts of it. So there's a little event thing going on right now. Like people dressed up, it's very atmospherical. And we're going to have a little look around now and explore and see what we can see. So, this is the well tower. Strategically placed. Uh, yeah, that. And this is where Alex would say that I would be living if I was in this castle, in, in the, the kitchen. kitchen. Where would you where would you be? Be a king. Be a king. Well, then that means I'd I definitely like, would be a king. Definitely a top baller riding around in my carriage and that. <laughs> Good job you didn't go to war though, because would be you'd get defeated really quick. <laughs> Fuck people up. Some cute little activities for kids to do. Alex's gonna try and prove his hard now. I stuck down. It's a really nice atmosphere here with the music and the people dressed up and the weather and the location. This is how they used to split rocks, look. <laughs> That's his contribution to the history facts. Well, in a relationship, one of us has always got to pick up the slack of the other one, hasn't there? Let's move on. One of you always picks up the slack. So you can't read, I can read. Winning can take pictures, I can. Chase me, I'm hungry. I know I am quite hungry now. How do you think you say it? Uh, right, well... It's dino wig. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like that. So we've come to the quarry, and this was actually in time of its heyday before it closed in 1969. That's a true fact. That's a true fact. I don't know it. Um, it was the second largest quarry in the world, and it ran from the 17th century to the 1969. So we've come to have a look at it and see what it's all about. And it's about a four mile walk in the blazing heat. Four? Oh. Yeah. Why I still got legs like Johnny Bravo is beyond me. <laughs> this is not the correct path you're supposed to come on. But we're hoping it's a shortcut. Hoping. Yeah. And your legs in it. Jesus. Yep. All you AM AMSR lovers. <laughs> so this is part two of day two. The amount of stuff we've squeezed in two days so far. Might have to do a three-part video. Hopefully you've been enjoying Rachel's tour guiding. She'll be having to learn some facts about places we're going. Look at that. So, while we're trying to find the like bit of water that we want to look at, I've just remembered another key fact. <laughs> is that this is classed as a ghost town because of all the like derelict buildings. So, for example, on my left, I feel like a, a head stupid up now. Like things like this, just like work tools just been abandoned. Houses have been abandoned and everything's just very derelict. And it is a bit eerie to be fair, I suppose if it wasn't as sunny, 
it will give you a bit of a creepy vibe. Well, like I'm guessing these places where they would have rested and stuff when they were up here. So yeah, stay tuned for part three of my amazing facts that I keep finding. I see actually that's even here, but some people are trying to climb up this massive slate thing. Like something from a different planet that's... Yeah, looks like a creepy film, doesn't it? Like we're going to be in some kind of horror film. Well, not that creepy, I quite enjoy what it looks like. And yeah. Scenery. Okay, so... Shit, I'm going to get murdered up here. Shit, I'm not... We're going to have to bleep all these words out. You're bad language. Shit. <laughs> True. Right, so... We couldn't find the little Dally's Hall thing, which is a bit sad, but... We've decided, you know, we've still had a pretty cool time. Seen some pretty cool things and now we've been rebels. Holy shit. And gone through here. And now we're gonna come and have a look at a cave. Are you scared? Do you dare go in it? It's actually big, isn't it? It's a really good picture, isn't it? Oh yeah. See you better on that I one. I know, I can, then I can actually see with my eyes. So just chilling in a cave. It's such an adventure these days, aren't we, babe? It's quite cool in here, though, isn't it? I don't can't tell if that's meant to be daylight that way. What do you think? Oh, that way. Oh, yeah. Maybe. It's a big cable. That's me done for exploring. <laughs> Alex needs to crank car now that we didn't find where we wanted to find. Found a secret hole. I'm gonna walk up to this cave. Mm. Maybe find the elusive swimming hole. Oh, found it. Really? Yeah. I think there's more. Well, there's a little quarry trip. Didn't work out as we planned, but still amazing views. Plenty of people about with drones, though. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, that was really cool. I'm ready for a drink now. Yeah. I'm that warm. I was so ready to be in some water. I'd fall face first in a puddle right now if there were one. Oh, I thought you were going to say, put it on me. <laughs> we both know it's me, you don't need some metal. 